Hey everyone, welcome to a new Gentech PC product showcase. Today we're going to be showing you Sager's new NP9150. This is a mid-level gaming laptop that can be purchased for well under the $1,500 mark. It features a 15.6 inch body with a 1920x1080p LED backlit display. It's packed full of high-end hardware and many notable features. Some of the notable features include the DisplayPort 1.1 connection, USB 3.0 technology, and a backlit color changing keyboard. On the hardware side, it features an Intel Core i7-2670 quad mobile processor, and it can be configured with either a GeForce GTX 670 mobile with 1.5 gigabytes of video RAM, or an NVIDIA GTX 675 mobile with two gigabytes of onboard video RAM. With a stock configuration, it comes with eight gigabytes of DDR3 RAM at 1600 MHz, but it can be upgraded to a full 32 gigabytes of RAM. All of the hardware will be hosted from an Intel Mobile Express HM77 chipset. Taking a closer look at some of the outlying features, the palm rest is actually coated in a rubberized finish, so it's pretty comfortable in the hands. The touchpad has all the multi-touch gestures and scrolling, as well as left and right individual click buttons. And in the center is a fingerprint scanner. Taking a look at some of the sticker badges, it has THX certification and HDMI connection the Core i7 badge, and it also has Onkyo branded speakers installed. As we move up, you'll notice the backlit keyboard. Right now it's currently lit up in blue. It's a pretty standard chiclet style keyboard with a full layout. As we move up a little bit further, you're gonna find the power button and some of your display function LEDs. There's a mesh here covering the left and right forward facing speakers. They're here on right by the keyboard. And on the right hand side, you have a few more display LEDs. Now let's take a closer look at some of the software. Here's the software you can use to configure the color changing keyboard. You can pick a whole bunch of different modes for it as far as pulsating and flashing. It's kind of controlled into three main sections where you can choose the color you would like and then pick the pattern and other really neat features. The software will allow you to come up with a lot of different effects. So you can have a lot of time to spend here and come up with something that you really like as far as the keyboard colors and illumination patterns. In a darker environment, that's when the keyboard becomes a lot more impressive and you can really see things more clearly and it stands out a lot more. Now it's time to take a look at all the I.O. ports on the laptop. From the front you don't have any connections, but you get a good view to see just how thin the unit is. Very thin for a gaming laptop. Over on the right hand side, you have the 8xp DVD burner. Next to that is four 3.5mm connections for audio. Normally you only see two here, the standard headphone out jack on the left, and next to that the microphone in jack. But this laptop actually features in addition to that the SPDIF output and a line in jack. Beyond that, you have a standard USB 2.0 port and your Kinnickston lock. Moving on to the back and looking at it from this angle, the vents you see on the left are for the GPU. And then moving on to the right, you're gonna first have the DisplayPort 1.1 output, and then the HDMI 1.4A output, and then a DVI-I output. And the center is where you're gonna find the DCN, and the vents that you see on the right-hand side are for the CPU. This is an extremely well interfaced laptop, but one thing that is missing is they do no longer include a VGA port. And here on the final term, we get over to the left side of the laptop. From left to right, first you have a Firewire connection. And then next to that is an RJ45 gigabit LAN, two USB 3.0 ports, and then a combo port that works to both eSATA and USB 3.0. And then lastly is a 9-in-1 multi-card reader. One last look with the laptop lid closed, just to give you a good feel of the looks and dimensions. Now it's time to take a look at the gaming performance. With 3D Mark Vantage, it gets a performance score of 14,713. The laptop does include the performance enhancing MSI Afterburner software so that you can overclock the GPU and increase your performance even further. These cores were obtained using the GeForce GTX 675 mobile 
with the 2 gigabytes of onboard video RAM. The MSI Afterburner software also lets you monitor your system, temperatures, and performance. In our case, we never got past the mid-70s on the critical GPU temperatures. This shows that the cooling system is quite effective even when you put the GPU into the worst case situations. Flipping the laptop over to give you a peek at the underside, you'll have a two screw bay here in the center that you can get easy access to your hard drive with, the standard removable battery. You'll see that there's lots of different openings in the bottom for cooling. And then right here is actually an underneath subwoofer to give the system a little bit more base for the speaker systems. We'll go ahead and let you get a listen to the sound system. These are just the included Windows sound files that will play. Now moving into disassembly, this is the underneath view. In the top left hand corner, this is where you have the GPU cooling. It has three heat pipes and its own dedicated cooling fan. Next to that, you have the CPU with a two heat pipe system and its own cooling fan, as well as two of the RAM slots. In the center is where you're going to find your hard drive. And then next to that is the optical drive. Moving on to the top side disassembly, if you remove the keyboard and the mesh that was above the keyboard, you're going to find the speakers. Here's the one on the right hand side. And here's the left side speaker. Here is a half size mini card that is both Bluetooth and your Wi-Fi. The other two RAM slots are here under the keyboard. And you have two ribbon cables. One is just for the generic keyboard functions, and the other is for all the controls of the LED lighting. And that's going to bring us to the end of our video. We hope you enjoyed the product showcase for the Sager NP9150, brought to you by Gentech PC. Boost your gaming, win more. If you have any questions you would like to ask about the Sager NP9150, you can contact our customer support team by going to gentechpc.com. Also, in the description of the video, we'll provide a link so that you can go to the product page, look at all the stock photography, any videos we produce, and also go over the full system specs. We hope you enjoyed our video. If you found it entertaining, educational, or useful in any way, you can give us a thumbs up to say thanks, and we'll see you guys next time in the next product showcase.